what's camp. this process been like for you so far? Oh, it's been exciting. I mean, it's, it's a long process, but it's a dream come true. It's something you've been waiting for your whole life. So it's just, I'm excited. What's the biggest thing you're wanting to prove this week to us Um, I'm not really trying to prove nothing much. I'm just really trying to go out there and just give them all, just go out there and compete and show them so they can see them more in person than just on film. Have you met with the Steelers at all? Uh, not here, but I met them at the uh, Shrine Bowl. What's the uh, significance of the chain? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. This is this is a it's a special piece I I made for me. It was just a it was something like my com- I feel like my confidence is is there now, and I feel like that I'm just want to achieve so much. And I got it uh, on the back from my cousin, my best friend that passed last year. So it means something special to me. So does that have to be like lock, a lockdown? Lock up? Yeah, it means lockup definitely. Can you said that you said you got your confidence. Is that something that you had to kind of refine? Uh, uh I wouldn't say that more. I said like. I always have confidence in myself on the inside. I'm more, now I'm more like public with my confidence. I feel like I can do anything, and I'm not afraid to show it. Is that something that you had to learn to do from Ohio State? Definitely, because usually they try to not say too much, but you're still, you're still confident inside you, but you don't want to just go out there and just talk much like that. So now I'm just more expressing myself. Kind of cut loose a little bit? Definitely. Yeah, big, one of the big questions is your health. Obviously, a lot of injuries. How is your health? How do you do everything? Yes, I'm so I um I did all my MRIs. It took me so long. My MRIs turned out great. All my X-rays turned out great. Um, no complaints. My body feels amazing. So it's great about that. Yes, sir. Cam, what is it about the Ohio State football program that makes their players so prepared? Um, more there's more of like a business. I mean, everybody, you go there, you show each other love, but it's also like you can get your job done, and it's it's more like a professional like area so it's like it's harder for us to just slack off now somebody can be right behind you be able to take your spot so now you just gotta compete every day against the top players were you ever really healthy last year how frustrating was it to deal with all the individual players? i mean it's, it's frustrating i mean but it's part of the game i mean you i was always told you you should never go to you're never gonna go to a game 100 percent. i mean that's that's real that's realistic i mean but that's true and how healthy were you last year i'll say i was pretty healthy Oh, it helped me amazing. Like it's great. Like I go against him, and then in the games, it's so much easier because nobody can put the ball where he puts it. And we have a great receiver, so they have to throw it to. So like when I get to the league, it's it's gonna be pretty much the same where they put. Everybody gonna be a great quarterback. So you so, endorse him as the number one quarterback in this draft. I believe so. Cam, do you have a specific goal for the forty? Uh, I, I, my goal is to run a four two. Yeah, I know you tweeted a few years ago that you're the fastest DB in college football. Yeah. You feel like you're going to back that up tomorrow? I should. <laughs> That's the plan. That's what the plan. You, what do you feel like you bring to the table at the next level? What is the team getting from you? Uh, I feel like they're going to get a a young, confident corner who's very physical, who's long, fast, and not afraid to compete with anybody. Have you met with the Buccaneers yet this week? Uh, no, I haven't met them yet. I met the Shamba. Do you know if you have a, uh, a scheduled meeting with them? Uh, no, I haven't, I haven't checked the schedule. I've been busy all day. Cam, what have you seen from some of the returning cornerbacks at Ohio State, guys like Jordan Hancock, Jair Brown? What should Ohio State fans expect from them? Uh, I think it's going to be exciting. They all compete. It's a lot of them, and they all compete, and they all want to be great. And I feel like that's going to push them to the next level and hopefully bring them out of their comfort zone become more confident. What do you see just from going against Kyle McCord and Devin Brown in practice? It's going to be a, it's going to be a great competition. Them are two great quarterbacks. I, I, have, I have no doubt in my mind that. One of them two is one of the top quarterbacks in, in the country. What was the benefit of staying one more year at Ohio State? Uh, I feel like I matured. Um, it was more of a, it was more of a personal thing for me, and I feel like I was able to grow better and more of a man as a football player and everything all around. Hey, Cam, Mike Morris was saying yesterday that he had spent some time around the Ohio State guys. And like, yeah, it's not so bad. I don't know if you've had a chance to talk to any of the Michigan dudes here. <laughs> what's, uh, what's what's been that? What's been that like to kind of now you guys are you could potentially become teammates? It's like. You know, the rivalry is kind of pushing the side. I mean, it, it, they, I mean, it's it's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm got no problems with them. Um, <clears throat> they're all, they're all, they're all cool guys. I mean, I, but on the field it's different. You know, how, you know how it gets. But um, I have no issue with them, and they can't really talk so much. But I ain't gonna speak on them. <laughs> the fans kind of hate each other. Like, could yeah. they, could they take a lesson from that? Like, well, I mean. I think they won two games in the last 15. I mean, they got it. They, they can have whatever they want. <laughs> How hard was that end of the season for you? If you know, Obviously, the Michigan and Georgia games didn't go the way you guys wanted the defense. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was frustrating. I mean, we felt like we 
we were the best team in the country, and we felt like we we did we worked so hard, and we didn't uh, com- we didn't finish. Those are those I think we didn't do. We need to finish. So it was very frustrating. What's the biggest adjustment you think that you have to make coming from college now? Um, the biggest adjustment is like it's more of a it's on me now. I don't have like a, like the lift and training like all that stuff that was given to me at the facility. I have to do all of my own now. I have to go out, and do, pay for it, out and go get all the training on my own stuff like that. So that's the only, that's the biggest difference to me. Your, your former teammate Justin Fields, his team is the number one overall pick. But what would you say to people who speculate and say that they should draft a quarterback and, and move on from him? I don't, I don't think they're going to do that. I think that they believe in Justin, and I believe he's a great player. So that's, that would be, a, I would say, a mistake, but I just don't believe that they would do that. What do you think of him and what he's done as first <coughs> I feel like <laughs> that's going to be it. Okay. Uh, he, did, he, had, he, had a great, he had a great season. I mean, he has, he's a great player. I mean, but uh, he can – he need mm. – <laughs> you can say it. He needs help. We all know. I'm not going to say that. He needs help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're rooming with, with Ronnie. Yeah. What's that been like? It's, it made me more comfortable. I mean, Ronnie, is, that's my guy. I mean, me and him been here. I've been with him since he first got to Ohio State. I mean, but uh, we was, we've been so close. It made me more comfortable being here, just being with him. His production to your stats down as a senior, some of that was the improvement of Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a, he's a great player. I mean, he he switched from a more one position where he used to tackle a lot and being a, more in the mix to more being in the uh, post. He was more just a, being a protector more than anything. So, go ahead. no, you go ahead. Who's been your biggest supporter throughout this entire process? Um, of course, my parents, um, my agent. Um, Austin, I get Austin Ward. He's been there. He's been every step of me. We got some episodes coming along as well. So um, that has been very good. How much did uh, Tim Walton help you over the past year prepare to play in the NFL? He changed my life. I would say that. Um, he gave me the uh, he gave me the blueprint to the game. He broke it down. People try to make the game all uh, complex and hard. It's very simple. Just is no little little angles, numbers, and details. Over the course of your, I saw Denzel really take off as a freshman. I'm sure he would be the first to admit that he didn't play up to that level of last year. What makes you think that he can get back there and play at the level of his freshman this year? Uh, I, I talked to a lot of coaches um, in Ohio State, and he has a different mindset coming in to this year. I mean, uh, if he was young, and he didn't. He was put into the fire. He was young. He had a great season, and everything. He's right, right, carries right away. You got to just take off with it. Um, but he's his. He's going to be a great player. His potential is off the charts, and I think that he's finally realized that when he can, he can do what he can do. You said that <coughs> Tim Walton has changed your life. Did, For sure. did, you, did you expect that, or were you just kind of, you know, okay, I'll just let, let this kind of be a feeler, see how, he, see how this goes with Tim Walton, and then all of a sudden he just starts changing your life? So, no, I knew, um, I knew Coach Walton my whole life, actually. He's not my best friend. Um, so I already knew he was coming in. I knew it was going to be – he's more. He's like a father figure to me growing up. Um, he really, he really pushed me at all times, and I just know that when he came here, it was no bullshit. I had to pick it up and go. So. Over the course of your career at Ohio State, you, you played for Jeff Halfley, Kerry Combs, uh, Tim Wall. I mean, those guys all had NFL experience. How much did that help you prepare for this level to have coaches who had already been at this level? It helped a lot. They um, they gave me the mindset of NFL player. Like most college coaches try to just teach certain things, but they showed me the the better, the more detailed part of the game. It's not only your athletic ability. Because when you get to the NFL, everybody's talented. Everybody's athletic. It's all about what are you going to do with it. 